Did you see the look on Uncle Bo's face? Ah, oh, Jared, this isn't good. Hey, you can't be referring to the arrival of, of me and my pal Marasco because this promises to be very good for all concerned. Rex, what are you, what are you rambling on about? Well, it makes somebody feel welcome. Now, did you forget that you're interviewing my friend Gigi this fine morning? Uh, uh, actually, I, I did. I'm sorry. Other stuff just came up. Oh, that's okay. If you need to do another time, well, you know what? That, no, that's I better. think now is uh, now is the perfect time. It'll keep us busy while we're waiting for the news. You know, it's good to see you again. Oh, thanks. You too. Uh, Phyllis will be interviewing you as well. She's the senior secretary. She'll do the typewriter test. Whatever else. Oh, okay. Sure. So, you want to tell us a little about yourself? Background? That resume? No, I don't. Not a resume. Well, but she's been working since she got out of high school, supporting herself. What kind of work? Waitressing, mostly. But she's done other kinds of work, too, of course. And we went to high school together, and she's a math whiz. Great speller, too. Won all sorts of B's. Impressed everybody by spelling picnicking with a K. It does have a K, right? Rex. And her typing skills. Rex. This woman can type faster than most of us can talk. And that's saying a lot, because I for one have been handed a mile a minute. Get out. Break a leg, Rosco. Oh, I was mean to him. I feel bad. No, don't. You had every right to ask him to leave. The guy wouldn't let you speak. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I guess there's not much left to say. I mean, Rex pretty much gave you the whole story. Well, speaking for myself, I kind of like the whole story. And uh, I think you handled yourself pretty well, Gigi. I've heard enough, Natalie. Yeah, yeah. So I guess um, all you need to do is go see Phyllis. She's the real boss. Here, I'll take you down there. Oh, okay, thanks. I'll call her and let her know you're on your way. Um, I'm meeting with Phyllis now. Sorry, I was hard on you. I had it coming. You should be there in about 30 seconds. Thanks, Phyllis. Well? She seems great. She is? Doesn't look like Jared's going to have a problem working with her either. No, they seem to get along just fine. You got the job! Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Uh, can you believe it? Of course I can. I knew they'd love you. <laughs> Phyllis just raved about you. She'll be tough enough to handle all the pecans. Are you kidding? She can handle much worse than you guys. Come on, uh, not, you know, not you're, you're bad, per se. You, you know, you're a great group of people. Very easy and eat fair. And uh, Here I go again, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Well, while I can get a word in edgewise, I'm just going to let you know that you'll primarily be working for me and Jared. Good. Oh, you can ask my sister for a raise. She's got a real soft touch. Rex. Sorry. Uh, thank you so much, Natalie, for this opportunity. I'm going to be the best secretary you've ever had. I'm sure you will be. <laughs> all right. Um, guess all that's next is go down to personnel thoughts and paperwork. Thanks. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. And thank you, Rex. This means that Shane and I are finally going to have insurance. So Shane's asthma will be taken care of. It's a very big deal for us. Glad I could help. And I'm sorry about getting you in trouble with Uh No, it's okay. She, she knows she's got nothing to worry about.